Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, The Power of Excel. Uh, before we begin, uh, let me take this opportunity to thank all the people who have subscribed to my channel such a short span of time and I hope I won't let you down. So here we are with the very first video which is for demonstrating or giving you an overview of what the tool Excel is all about before we actually get into the details of it. So typically Excel is a spreadsheet tool which comes with the Microsoft Office package. Uh, the current version I'm using right now in front of you is that is Excel 2019. Uh, although I think the latest one is Excel 2021. And uh, typically uh, every uh, uh, document that we create in an X Microsoft Excel package is known as a workbook and each workbook can have multiple spreadsheets. Uh, there's a limit to the number of spreadsheets that you might have. I think it is 256 if I'm not wrong. And every spreadsheet or every Excel sheet in that workbook consists of 10,48,576 rows and 16,384 columns. By rows, I mean rows are the ones which are horizontal in nature. For example, this is a typical row in an Excel sheet and this is a typical column in an Excel sheet. So if you want to actually do the counting and if you want me to demonstrate that, that is very easy to do. Uh, specifically, I'm talking about in a, a Windows system, which is what I have right now. So if you click on the very first cell in any new Excel spreadsheet, and press control plus the downward arrow key, we'll go to the last row that is 10,48,576 row. And if I take it towards the right by pressing the control key again, control plus right arrow, this takes me to the last uh, column that is supposedly XFD. That is what we have. This is the 16,384th uh, column. Now coming back, uh, let me take you through different uh, tools and different functions quickly. Uh, so every Excel workbook has a number of different tabs and in each tab, there are a number of groups. So for example, this home, file, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, help, power pivot, all these are tabs and each tab has different groups. So for example, this clipboard is a group and font is a group, alignment is a group and so on and so forth. So let me just quickly take you through this quickly. And uh, uh, so the very first tab that we're going to talk about is the home tab. Uh, which has uh, the different kinds of formats which can be used in an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, for example, you have the general format, which can be almost anything. It can be text, it can be date, it can be currency, it can be anything. Uh, then you have a specific number format. You can have a decimal format in this. Uh, I have a separate video for demonstrating all these formats. Uh, then you have the currency format, the accounting format, then you have a short date, long date, time, percentage. If you want any value in terms of percentage, you can do that. Fraction, scientific, text, and so on and so forth. So these are a few formats which are available. Uh, uh, these formats are also available separately. If you talk about the counting number format here, uh, the percentage style and uh, the comma separator style, which is basically in case you have some currency or something, and you want a comma after a thousand. So that is something you can achieve with the help of this. And uh, then you also have uh, something which in, uh, a, a tool which is specifically there for increasing or decreasing decimals in uh, any cell values which are written in a typical Excel sheet. Uh, then you have something called as conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is a very important tool as far as uh, performance management is, is concerned. Uh, although uh, we're talking about conditional formatting later on as well in a detailed discussion, but uh, just to highlight what is its importance. So it is specifically a tool which highlights cells based on conditions automatically. That is how you can define conditional formatting. 
Uh, then format as tables a very important tool to standardize data in tables, specifically when you're working in organizations and all. So a format as table has different kinds of formats which are available, as you can see in front of you. Uh, then moving on to the right hand side, uh, you have certain styles uh, which can be used. Again, uh, this is completely your choice. These are some formatting styles which are available. And uh, then you have uh, the cells group, which includes insert, delete, format, and so on and so forth. An important group in the home tab is the editing group, uh, which includes auto sum. Uh, auto sum is something like, for example, you have some list of values which are written in a particular uh, column and you want to sum it up automatically. So you have different functions which can be performed using this auto something. So you have sum, average, count numbers, max, min, and there can be other functions also. Uh, I'm not going through the details of this right now. Uh, just an overview for all what is there in an Excel spreadsheet, right? Then you have fill in case you want to fill uh, a particular formula for the remaining rows in a particular table, then you can use this fill option. Uh, you can do it up, left, right, down, uh, anyways. So th this is a separate tutorial that we'll be having in the due course of time. Uh, then you have sort and filter, a very important uh, tool in case you want to sort data in an Excel sheet, as well as filter data based on certain conditions or certain values. Uh, so that is for the home tab. Now going to the insert tab, insert tab has some very important tools and functionalities once again. So if you see the top left hand corner, you have the pivot tables, a very important tool, which is used for creating customizable reports just by drag and drop. So we'll have a specific session where we'll be talking about the pivot tables. Uh, then uh, you have these pictures, shapes, and also I'm not going to the details of it. These are pretty simple and it is usually there in uh, all, all the, uh, you can say, softwares in the Microsoft Office package, right? Uh, then you have some kind of uh, uh, charts which are available, right? So you have recommended charts, you have bar charts, uh, you can have line charts, uh, you can have statistical charts, right? You can have maps, you can have pivot charts. Uh, again, lots and lots to discuss, but uh, just an overview right now, just to make uh, you aware of what all is available in a typical Excel spreadsheet. And uh, then you have some spark lines, lines, columns, win loss. Uh, you have slicers, which can be used in case you are using some kind of reports or creating some kind of tables and all. Uh, then you have on the right hand side, you can have some equations and symbols. Although this is there in a, a typical Microsoft Word package also, right? But it is there in case of an Excel sheet as well. Uh, then uh, moving on, I'll I'll skip the page layout thing because this is pretty common across all the office uh, functions and packages. Uh, uh, then you have the formulas tab, a very important uh, tab as far as Excel is concerned. And uh, you have different time kinds of uh, functions here. Yeah, there are different categories of functions there. Uh, you, again, you have this auto sum, which is available in on this tab as well, in, in addition to the home tab. So you have the sum, average, count numbers, max, min, there can be other functions, all these are the auto sum functions, right? And you can always add more to it. Then you can have the recently used functions. Uh, so recently I've used uh, functions such as network days, work days dot intl, date, sum, average, if, hyperlink, and so on and so forth. Uh, then you have financial functions. Um, there's a huge list, we'll cover quite a few of them in our subsequent uh, tutorials, right? Then uh, the logical functions and false, if, if error, if any, not, or, and so on and so forth. So that's a huge list. Uh, you have text functions, uh, bar, bar text, then you have car, clean, code, concat, dollar, and so on and so forth. This is a huge list again, right? Then date and time functions are there. Uh, date, date value, day, days, day 6, 360, edate, and so on and so forth. Uh, lookup and reference functions, very important set of functions which can be used for looking up or merging data across different data sets and data sheets. And uh, we'll have spe specific uh, tutorial sessions on this uh, channel uh, for this particular purpose. Um, then you have the mathematical and the trigonometric functions, so ABS, that is absolute, then aggregate, Arabic, as in, as in H, A tan, tan 2, 
there are so many so there is a huge list we'll cover quite a few of them in our subsequent tutorials depending upon the importance of these functions um so there's a, another other set of functions also there are certain statistical functions and there are some engineering functions there are some cube functions there are some information functions uh, you have compatibility functions you have web functions and so on and so forth uh, then you have the name manager uh, which is specifically uh, there for giving names to cells rows or columns this is for a purpose of standardization of data in case you want to standardize data and use it in our functions and formulas so we can use the name manager there that is you name certain cells or we name certain rows and columns we'll have a separate uh, tutorial specifically to cover the name manager uh, then you have trace uh, precedence in case you want to trace precedence in an excel sheet we can do it with the help of this then you have trace dependence so in case you want to trace dependence um, in while using certain calculations or while doing some calculations in an excel sheet we can do that uh, remove formulas uh, we can do it uh, remove arrows we can do it using uh, this particular option then you can show formulas if you want to show the formulas of the entire spreadsheet uh, you can do that with the help of this particular excel sheet uh, then you have error checking and evaluate formula and we'll have a specific tutorial where we'll be covering this particular formula auditing uh, group, uh, which is there. Uh, then coming to the data tab quickly, uh, you can get data from different uh, sources. Uh, you can get data from a file, right? A file can be an Excel workbook, a text file, a CSV file, an XML file, a JSON file, or from a folder. You can do it from a, a text file or CSV file, and you can also get data from web. Uh, from table and ranges and from recently used sources from such as existing databases such as SQL, MySQL and so on and so forth. Uh, then you also have option to sort it again. You have the sort and filter option here and text to columns is a very beautiful functionality as far as uh, 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 importing data from web sources is concerned uh, when the formats are quite different and uh, Pasting data from web sources becomes a challenge. So text to columns helps over there. Flash fill is another very important tool, which is used for filling up data when you're doing it in a particular uh, table, like we use the format as table option. Uh, then remove duplicates. We want to remove duplicate or duplicate data. Uh, data validation that is another important tool. Consolidate, uh, again, something we can spend hours and hours and do it. Uh, uh, manage data models so we can manage multiple data models when we have collected data from different sources you can do it with the help of this manage data model option uh, what if analysis has three different tools uh, scenario manager goal seek and data tables and we'll be spending some amount of time for each one of them separately uh, forecast sheet is another beautiful tool which we have then grouping of data if you want to group data uh, based on uh, different uh, data values uh, from different tables. We can do it with the help of group data. We can ungroup, we can create subtotals. Uh, then we also have something called as uh, solver and then data analysis. These are basically Excel add-ons which can be added to Excel and they are not there by default, uh, but can be added very easily. There are others also. So this is just a couple of them which is there installed in on my system right now. There can be many more. And uh, solver specifically is used for uh, solving optimization problems using linear programming. And data analysis is for performing statistical analysis. So we'll have a separate session for each one of them separately. Then you have the review tab quickly. Uh, the review tab... Uh, as spelling thesaurus, work with strategies are something which is there in almost quite a few of the uh, uh, Microsoft Office uh, packages. And uh, you have protect sheet. You can do a protect sheet by adding a password. You can do a protect workbook, allow edit ranges and so on and so forth. Uh, then you have the view tab, which includes uh, uh, freeze panes. I'll, I'll not talk about others right now because they are very basic and you can do it as per whenever we and try and doing some kind of tutorial in the coming uh, sessions. So free spins is something in case you have large data sets, which has a huge number of rows and columns, and you want to navigate in, on that particular table uh, uh, and uh, want to see 
which which row or which value corresponds to which particular attribute in that particular table then we can make use of freeze frame so this is again a very beautiful tool and very important functionality on this tool uh, on this uh, tab is the macros macros is basically uh, and a tool which is useful for automation of uh, repetitive tasks and uh, it can also be used for automating certain tasks and organizations and is very frequently used uh, we have some kind of codification which we need to do in vb that is visual basic for applications and this is something we will be spending quite a lot of our time and then you have the help uh, which can be used for seeking help at any point of time uh, for any of the functions any of the tools which is there in microsoft excel and uh, last of all, we have this uh, power pivot, which can be create, uh, used to create uh, data to data models, right? And measures, create measures, uh, KPIs, uh, do some settings and manage different data sources as well. So that is it uh, for this particular uh, video. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, in the coming sessions, we'll be actually spending time on each one of them separately, including their specific applications in our day-to-day -day life, as well as uh, in businesses. So thank you so much once again, and see you in the next video. Thank you.